Well, new this morning, Arizona Senator Mark Kelly is proposing this bill to help ease prices at the pump. It would temporarily suspend the federal gas tax, saving you some dollars when you're filling up. Javi standing by now, ready to talk to Senator Kelly about the plan. Good yeah, morning. Yeah, guys, and this morning we're hearing it for the very first time right here on Good Morning Arizona. So if passed, this new bill would save you about 18 cents per gallon. Senator Mark Kelly joins us right now to explain how this would work. And Senator, this comes at a crucial time when Arizonans are already seeing a price increase of 97 cents per gallon in just the last year. Good morning. Good morning, Javier. Yeah, gasoline is incredibly expensive at some of the highest prices we've seen in uh, nearly, a, nearly a decade. Families are struggling to afford not only gasoline, but things like, you know, groceries, uh, prescription medication. Uh, there's supply chain issues out there. Prices have gone up. And this is one thing we can do. This legislation can reduce the cost to families for gasoline, allow them to put that money towards other things they need. I mean, supplies for the kids going to school or, you know, just basic uh, daily groceries. So, so this is an important piece of legislation. And it's intended to, you know, help people across the country uh, so, afford afford more things. This would actually suspend the federal gas tax, uh, and then that would be pushed forward to Arizonans or people across the country. What exactly does the federal gas tax pay for? Well, typically, it, it goes to the, the the highway trust fund to pay pay for improvements to our highway system, you know, roads and bridges. The infrastructure bill, however, that we passed, this bipartisan infrastructure bill, which I was part of negotiating, um, is going to build out and improve our infrastructure across the country. So this is an opportunity. Uh, and this legislation that I'm introducing today is an opportunity for us to save Americans money because gas prices are just too high. Do you know if it already has bipartisan support? Have you uh, spoken with anybody behind the scenes? Well, we'll get there. It has in the past. This has been proposed before. Uh, Senator John McCain was part of a proposal uh, years ago to suspend the federal gas gasoline tax, basically doing the same thing. So in the past, it has had bipartisan support. Uh, you talked about it just a second ago. This would ease the pain at the pump, but ordinary citizens, they're hurting not only from high gas prices, we're talking inflation we haven't seen in decades, and skyrocketing rent prices. Do you think the president is doing enough right now to ease some of these burdens? Well, costs are still, are still high, so obviously not. Uh, I've called on the, on the White House uh, to do a number of things, uh, specifically with the cost of food. Um, meat, meat packing and processing the, the price of ground beef in Arizona is $4.99 a pound. It's incredibly high. I had the Secretary Vilsack in, in the state a few weeks ago when we were discussing this issue. Uh, and there's, there's ways, and I've recommended you know, ways, and they're, they're, they're taking these things as uh, action items uh, to reduce the costs uh, of food. So, yeah, there's, there's always uh, more that can be done and should be done because Arizonans are really struggling because of these high costs. They are. I want to uh, change gears here. I want to talk about voting legislation. Recently, you said you would support change to the filibuster rules, but only for the proposed voting rights legislation. Uh, why now and why only for this legislation and not the entire Biden uh, agenda? Well, I mean, my service in the United States Senate to date uh, over 14 months has been about bipartisanship and working across the aisle to get things done for Arizona and the American people. I mean, that's clear. And, and, and I think our country is stronger, stronger, stronger when, we can, when we can work together across the aisle. Having said that, um, our democracy is stronger when uh, more people have access to the ballot, when it's easier for them to vote. And there have been uh, legislation passed across the country that makes it harder for people to vote. And, and this is just the one of those things that's like the bedrock of our democracy. Uh, one of the barriers to passing this voting legislation is your counterpart, Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema. Have you spoken with her and have you tried to get her on your side as far as maybe uh, passing or changing the filibuster rules in order to pass voting legislation only? 
Senator Sinema and I talk all the time about a lot of different things and, you know, uh, spent a lot of time on that inf infrastructure bill or uh, negotiating the price of prescription drugs uh, for seniors. Uh, and, and, and this legislation, you know, is, is included in that. And ultimately, we came uh, to a different conclusion. Well, we wish you the best of luck in trying to get this gas measure passed. We know we could all use some extra money these times. So we wish you the best of luck. We thank you for taking some time this morning, Senator. Thank you for having me on, Javier. Appreciate it.